on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You has a hit! Our attempt, just the wrong outcome. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. Hoists it forward, cuts it out. <laughs> it's Herrero. Turns and goes back. Oh, well played, he needed to get that right. Goes down, but nothing given. Well, that's where he wants it. So it is still nil-nil. Tulani Serrero looking to run onto it. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Forward it goes. That is terrific skill. Referee's given a throw. Out to the right. Up for the header! No, he couldn't get the direction he needed. South Africa can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. South Africa getting a lot of touches here, but they're not making much progress. And the half-time whistle goes. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. See, if he's on the first half. Well, Peter, apart from the lack of goals, I really don't think there's, there's much to criticise. I think they've got to keep doing what they've been doing and eventually they should find a way to the back of the net. Here's hoping for them. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil-nil.
the start of the second half. At least there's always a plus side to a scoreless half. Defences are doing what they should, and it's going to take good imagination to break the deadlock here. to go with all this possession. Decent progress down the left. Nicely controlled. Tulani Serrero. few chances to talk of Jim defenses it seems on top here yes nil nil and little promise of a goal due to the shot shy nature of this contest but I'm not giving up on it there's plenty of energy on the pitch not to give up hope just yet and that's the end of that it all started well enough that'll be a throw in ah oh, now some movement on the bench and we are going to see a change Nice touch, and it's Serrero. Oh, that is lovely footwork. And here's Serrero, just brushed off the ball there. South Africa showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. to the last five minutes. Driving forward in search of a late winner. So time is nearly up. One final twist, perhaps. 90 minutes up, and we will be back for extra time. Yeah, neither side has anything to show for some splendid effort, and they certainly aren't showing any signs of easing off, so we remain optimistic. So 90 minutes, couldn't produce a winner, and we have extra time. minutes gone and nothing between them still out to the left it goes it is quite a run he's making here and he's not played the ball that's a foul well you might think he got off lightly it is just a verbal warning And it's played forward. And that's it for the first half of extra time. Well, I think for both sets of players now, fatigue becomes your biggest opponent. You know, when the body gets tired, the mind usually goes with it. Concentration levels are difficult to manage now. It 
Exhaustion, physical and mental. Will we find a winner? 15 minutes to find a winner, or else penalties. Tries to get it forward quickly. And they're not going to make any further progress now. Well, they've got one eye on the clock, but the balancing act is very fine at this stage. Go for it, and it could backfire. Sit back, and it may be at a price. It's a loose ball. Lovely feet. South Africa has a goal! Terrific effort, but that's it. The end of two hours' action. Yeah, maybe most were not expecting this to go the distance, Peter, but they can't complain about the graft and energy on show. I think the scoreline wasn't from the want of trying, and, and now it's lottery time. 20 minutes of action have taken their toll, but have proved inconclusive, and now this is it. Right on the edge. Feel the moment. Calmly, he puts the ball down on the spot. They could really do with scoring the first penalty. Great stop. Keepers denied him. I think the keeper's done really well to save that. He deserves a pat on the back from his teammates. Good penalty, just steered it the other way. Yeah, made his mind up very quickly and just didn't waver. That's how it's done, he made the keeper commit. Looks like he's done it a thousand times, never looked like missing. Oh, that was a great strike. He just gave the keeper absolutely no chance. South Africa in search of parity. Ah, oh, it's a tame penalty straight at the keeper. Oh, that was right down the keeper's throat. And it was an easy save to make in the end. Saved! Keeper's done brilliantly. That's a lovely stop from the keeper. He's got his teammates proud with that one. Oh, he saved it! Oh, that's a super save from the keeper. The scene is set for a would-be hero. That's won it! Shootout winners. It is such a compelling way to win. Compelling and cruel. But they were so composed under pressure, and that was the difference. Well, what a way to finish a long, hard match. Those players can be really proud of their effort to have come out on top. That was far from easy. So just time for me to say thanks to Jim for his wisdom and to wish you all a very good evening. Got things on the way. Now it's Serrero. Oh, nice touch. Serrero. Last ditch defending, but that'll do.
plays it out to the wing. And it's Serrero. Out to the left it goes. Oh, that's nice. Over to the left. Ball swung in. South Africa have been pretty good down that left side, you know. No doubt this is an area they've identified as a potential weakness in their opposition, and they're willing to exploit it. Well, this poses the defence a few tricky questions, and the answers have to be hard and fast. Midway through the first half, and there's an impotence about this game that's causing me concern, and, and probably most of the stadium too. Let's just hope that by the end, it'll have been forgotten. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Tries to get it forward quickly. Oh, the less said about that pass, the better. Hoists it forward. Oh, good interception. The ball has crossed the line, and it's a throw. And that is going to be the final action of the first half. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Well, this has proved a very frustrating day so far, especially for the strikers. Nothing has been created for them. I think the service has been extremely poor. Interesting half, just missing goals. So don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil there. And we're already back on the way here. So deadlock still as the second half begins. Defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Still nothing to reflect upon in terms of goals here. It is nil-nil. Tulani Serrero. And he's got the ball glued to his feet it into the area that's a throw South Africa can make their change now with uh, a break in play and it's Serrero he's in very little to report from an attacking perspective. Jim, it's a cagey old game. Yes, nil-nil and little promise of a goal due to the shot-shy nature of this contest, but I'm not giving up on it. There's plenty of energy on the pitch not to give up hope just yet. Out to the right. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. South Africa showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Well weighted. Serrero. Needs a quality cross. In by Serrero. And that's been levered clear. Oh, he's been flattened there. No fouls, says the referee. 
It is going to need 30 more minutes, no winner after 90. Yeah, neither side has anything to show for some splendid effort, and they certainly aren't showing any signs of easing off, so we remain optimistic. So to clarify, extra time will follow. Into extra time we go. And it's played forward. Lovely bit of skill. Serrero. And it's hoisted clear. Defense has got rid of that. In comes the delivery. Defending of the desperate variety. We've reached the midway point in extra time. Well, I think for both sets of players now, fatigue becomes your biggest opponent. You know, when the body gets tired, the mind usually goes with it. Concentration levels are difficult to manage now. And so the last chance to find a winner. 105 minutes of deadlock, 15 minutes to break it. It's being played forward. Well positioned to make that interception. Listen, it may well finish this way because it's been so tight all the way through, but equally, we might still get a moment of magic, a mistake or a refereeing decision to influence otherwise. And the shot! Oh, denied brilliantly! The keeper re... Still inseparable. We have penalties. The longer it went on, it kind of became inevitable that it would end this way. And, and while each defence can be proud, they've got very little to say from here. It's up to the keepers now. Pressure and nerve. After two inconclusive hours, it is penalties. Boy, you can feel the tension. They could really do with scoring the first penalty. Keepers read that beautifully. Oh, the keeper's done brilliantly to keep his eye on the ball and make such a great save. Well, he strolled up and struck that with great confidence. That's a superb spot kick. From one behind. He was always looking good there, nice penalty. So, the second man in line. Keeper's gone the wrong way. How confident was that? Backed himself all the way. South Africa in search of parity. Well, it's never easy to step up and take a penalty, but he slotted that home with authority. The third man in the queue. Right. And the keeper knew he was beaten, so what a bonus. He steps up to take the fourth penalty. I thought he did really well to hold his nerve then and score that penalty. He steps up to take the fourth penalty. Three each. Oh, that was a 
great strike. He just gave the keeper absolutely no chance. Calmly, he puts the ball down on the spot. So it's down to him to keep it alive. And scores to keep them alive. Yeah, made his mind up very quickly and just didn't waver. It is sudden death from here on. One miss could lose it. Brilliantly done. Never took his eye off the keeper either. He cannot afford to miss. Oh, it's been saved! And that's it! So, in the end, heartbreak. A few of them inconsolable. But this is what footballing fate had stored up for them. It is nasty. Oh, this is so tough on the penalty taker as the heroes celebrate. Right now, it's a horrible experience, but they really should try and get those chins up. And that's where we have to end it. From me, Peter Drury, and my co-commentator, Jim Beglin, a very good evening to you all.